guys many people are now complaining that the cost of evacuating their traditional soccer away is now alarming you know things are not easy and so every three months or one year they keep on evacuating and you know it is not easy that is why many and many more people are now embracing this what we call biodigester guys gone are those days where we talk about those traditional soccer away i am talking about even the one percent of the one percent of nigerians those are politicians are now abandoning the traditional soccer way everybody is welcoming this biodigester and that is why today here i am live here in one of the top notch estates i'm talking about royal garden estate here in aja if you know this estate definitely you know that this is one of the most prestigious estate in this axis and like i said this is about the seventh biodigester number seven seven biodigester that we are doing here in this royal garden estate because even the big boys too are tired of evacuating they too want to embrace this new technology all right so sit back relax as i share with you all you need to know about the cost and the implication of doing a biodigester see even those ones you talk about uh, your water from your drainage your water from the kitchen and all of that those questions is going to be answered live and direct in this video well like we all know biodigester is not a new thing yes it has been in existence for several years so it's just coming new to nigeria about seven years now in nigeria and this is what a lot of people have been using in most of the top notch estate like the one we are here we are currently in royal garden like you said here in Aja, as this of Lagos state in lekki as this so you can see what these people are doing there's nothing new about biodigester it has come to stay and to eradicate the old traditional soccer way that we all know a lot of people here that are doing bad uh, that did soak away today they are not going back to buy digester because nobody wants to waste money yeah and the diesel now the cost of diesel is high so the evacuation is even high, it's high. and we all know the advantages of soak uh, by digester they are they are more and more to be compared to the traditional soccer way that we know all right most people complain especially in this uh waterlogged area like lekki and it exists they complain that um, sometimes the process of doing it is a bit difficult like the dry land how do you manage that yeah, because it's a new thing now, a lot of uh, uh, professionals are coming out that are not really professionals in the field. So that is why we see a lot of things. They are not putting a lot of things into consideration. But here we put everything to consideration. Like here now, we the, we have a several uh, apartments that are being used. Like we are doing two in this very particular house now. And we'll still do a separate uh, water area where the kitchen and the washing machine is going to be uh, directed to okay so what you mean is that uh, the water from the kitchen and the washing machine will be directed to a separate uh, tank yeah because of the volume of the washing machine waters washing, uh, washing machine of two some washing machines are about 30 liters then when the, uh, you wash and you rinse okay that's about 60 liters going in direct in in one biodigester immediately and other water that will be coming from wc can fill your uh, uh, biodigester so we come with a new system to do that separately the kitchen and the washing machine will go separately to the old tank like i will take you to the other place the way we did it and we do two by the digester one in this wing and the other one in that wing they will serve them for several years as they will so spe see. specifically like how many years are you talking about here yes for this one's here i can guarantee 10 years at least at least 10 years 10 years without evacuating without maintenance now what most people complain that in these places like waterlock area here in lake lagos that the water come out from the ground so how do you manage that so that the water up and those one from the ground the bad yes i will not feel yeah yeah the, those questions have been asked several, especially in lagos state okay. where the other state doesn't have those issues but lagos state you have to put that to consideration but here in royal garden that we are working here there is not absolutely a waterlogged area so it's a conducive environment to work no, I'm, I'm not talking about this one i'm talking about where you know that there's a lot of water if you dig one shovel you meet water yeah. so how do you manage that one in waterlogs in top uh, waterlogs areas yes yeah that's where a lot of biodigesters specialists fail okay there are many things to put to consideration number one you have to consider your piping where you're putting your biodigester should not be far from where your piping is coming from okay so you can get the level as quick as possible and number two a lot of uh, in most of those places we often put a uh, no return valve for it and this case may be if the estate permit we normally run those uh, but that very waistline back to the gutter so what if the estate does not permit how do you manage that if i'm the, talking about the waistline if the estate does not permit it's still yes. we we have uh firstly what we do is concrete we don't do blocking uh water loss area if you do block you are just doing you are you are just managing and it will fail definitely it will fail because wow, wow. blocks allow water to enter yes so here we don't use block at all that's the first thing to put into consideration then secondly you must also put a no return valve for it if there's no return and there's no no return valve for it the water will absolutely go back to the digester the thing 
there is that the water should not go to the biodigester itself. Okay. Now, uh, well, I know most people want to ask about the cost. Can you tell us a bit, like, if you are, you say you don't use blocks in your own, can you tell us relatively, I know the cost might not be very accurate, but relatively, how much should people be looking at? <laughs> that is what a lot of people have been asking yeah. subsequently, and they want to know really what the cost really is. There's no specific cost for a biodigester. It depends on the terrain. And just like you're asking me about the water loss area, water loss area cannot be compared with uplands areas. But for go and come, because of the material that have skyrocketed, some of the biodigester we are doing here is between 1.2 to uh, 1 million to 1.2 million. And uh, well, some people say that they can do biodigester with 300,000, 500,000. I've heard of such cases before. Uh, if you follow those same ones that they did, you understand that they fail in due time. They fail why because they want to manage what they, they are not they, you know some people because of the why will i put it because of the way it is done yeah they are not trained professionally to okay. manage terrains you want to just take because you did it here in uplands area you want to do the same thing in a in waterlocks area it will definitely fail it, and that is why many people are going in cheaper one cheaper one are the one failing now painting by the just have to be as if it's not working all right now when you say biodigester are you saying that this work also include uh, the plumbing work like when you are doing your biodigester do you include plumbing work in it no 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 like you can see the one we did here we only position our pipe where the plumber will run his pipe to that point so basically you are saying around 1 million to 1.2 can yeah. get the biodigester done here 1 million to 1.2 can get the biodigester done but if you want to do concrete in offland area it can go between 700 to 800 okay for offland area like uh, dry land dry offland like this we have been to portacourt we've been uh, we we have received many calls from abuja and other top top places top places in nigeria are the ones doing biodigesters okay so do you have any advice you want to share with our viewers just before i let you go yeah the, to our viewers i would definitely say you should not cut corners to do biodigester because it will definitely bounce back you will know, definitely know you cut corners do it well it's better to do well or not at all that's my advice for all our viewers and those that have been following on we have done about seven biodigester here at droya garden st particularly about seven and nobody have called us to for any maintenance or anything Guys, like I said, this one are number one estate in this asylum. If it fails, they will definitely get you arrested immediately. Okay. Or they will call you, come back and fix so what you did is not working. You know? mm. That's why more and more people are getting... See, from one person, another person will introduce you. That's how this place... Seven... I'm sorry. He has gotten another one, making number eight. And I'm mm. still going to come here to do a video with him. Yeah. From one person to another. So please, make sure you also get involved mm. in doing your house. Mm. Upgrade yourself to a bow. That that that. Thank you very much, thank Jeremiah. You, thank you for taking thank time you. to thank share your experience with us once thank again. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.